Hello class of 2014, this is Dawn Brown from the Counseling Office and I am going to walk you through how to request your college application or college transcripts on Naviance and a few other things that we want you to just be aware of. Um, the first thing is that when you log into your Naviance account, you are going to see a welcome message for each of the different months that we have through the school year. And what that will do is walk you through the things that you should be focusing on for the month. So make sure at the beginning of each month that you go ahead and log in there and make sure that you um, know what's going on and it will just kind of help walk you through. As always, come and find Mr. Meyer and myself if you have any questions at all and we will help you through this process because we know it's kind of confusing and kind of scary sometimes. Okay, um, so for your college applications, what you are going to do is click on the Colleges tab <clears throat> and then you are going to go to the colleges that I'm applying to. Now this is a process that you should be doing after you have actually submitted an application or as you're preparing um, a college application. Now, all of you are going to apl be applying to different schools and the way that you add your applications into Naviance so that we in the guidance office know where you're applying to is you click on the add colleges to this list and you can click on it here or here, it doesn't really matter. Um, then what you're gonna do is um, in the college area, you're gonna hit the lookup and that will allow you to look up different schools. Now, one of the things that you will be able to do as well is to, um, if you wanna search for different schools in different states, our College Picker just has the ones that are in Minnesota in it, but you can switch you know, the state and then make sure you hit the go button and so it will change it to that state. Um, but for our purposes here, I am just going to add um, the College of St. Benedict and St. Cloud State. Okay, so then after you have the colleges entered, you will either click the I have submitted my application button if you have completely submitted your application, like all of your stuff that you need to do is there. Um, otherwise, go ahead and leave that blank, but I'm going to pretend like I've already submitted all of my stuff. Then you are going to want to request transcript. Um, for each of the schools and that is your high school transcript which includes all of the classes that you've taken at Sartell so far including your application or your classes that you have scheduled for your senior year. The one thing you need to pay attention to is once you have sent your transcript in to the colleges you have sent them what you are saying you're going to take for your senior year. So anytime you make a change to those classes for your senior year you have to make sure that you communicate with the schools that have received your transcript and make sure that's not going to affect your admissions decision. Like let's say that you tell them you're going to take advanced placement calculus and then you drop that and you take some gym classes. Um, you have to let them know that you've made that change to your senior schedule because they can withdraw your admissions if you do not fulfill the contract. Look at submitting your, um, high, or your high school transcript and your senior year classes as a contract for what you're going to take. Um, the other um, thing that you need to know is that as far as your ACT scores, um, we do have them on your transcript if you indicated that you wanted them to be sent to us when you took the test, which most students do. Um, the other thing that you need to know is that some schools will accept the ACT score on your high school transcript and some will request them or want you to send them right from the testing agency. So it's just important that you check with the schools to make sure what their preference is. Um, sometimes they change and so we know a lot of them but not everyone, um, especially the out-of-state schools. So just make sure that you look on their website and you can find that information out easily. If you can't, um, either email the school or talk to us and we can kind of help you figure it out. Um, once you have the schools entered in the colleges I'm applying to area, um, you don't have to worry about sending your final senior transcript or mid-year at this point in time. You can request those later um, because you might think that you know where your final transcript should go, but things sometimes change. Scroll down and hit the Add Colleges button. Okay, now you've got them in there and um, as you can see, it lists the colleges that you selected. Um, the type, some schools it's like regular decision, some it's early decision. You'll know when you're applying if you need to change those. Um, the other thing that you need to be aware of is if you are using the common application to apply to schools, um, you have to make sure that you <clears throat> check this button. Now if you look at the College of St. Benedict and you're like, I don't know what the common app is because you use the College of St. Benedict's own application, 
um, then you would just go ahead and click on that and change that to no because you did not apply via the, via the Common App. Um, if you are applying using the Common App, which just so you know, the Common Application is a website where you can actually log in, create an account, fill out applications one time, and then send them to lots of different schools. They're mostly private schools and all the colleges are listed on that website, so you can make a decision about whether that would be worth your time to apply via the, via the Common App or to actually just use a school's own application. And if you have more questions about that process, go ahead and email us. Um, if you do apply via the Common App for a certain school, then we just need to make sure that you hit the Yes button. If you do not do that, we are not able to send your transcript to them. Um, when you are filling out the Common App online, it's going to ask you some information that will help you jive your Naviance account and your Common App account. And so if you can't find that or get confused, just let us know again. Um, anyway, so then the other thing that I wanted to show you is that it lists the deadline. So when the deadline is for applying. Now this has not been updated for this year yet. This is still current or last year's applications. So don't let that panic you. Um, it will also in the transcript column list requested, which means that you have requested your transcript. In the office status, it says pending right now because what happens is once you send that request, it goes to Stacy in the counseling office and then she sends your transcript electronically a couple times a week she'll process um, the transcript request. And so once that transcript request has been sent, you will see that status change in that area. So then you can know with confidence that your transcript was sent. Um, it also will list my application because I checked that I submitted my application. Um, that's why it says app submitted. <clears throat> and then the results column. We just ask that whenever you find out whether you've been accepted to a school or not, um, that you go ahead and change that. You just click the pencil and you can go ahead and change um, what your result was. So if you know you were accepted or denied or any of that stuff, um, that just helps generate those scattergrams that students use um, that we showed you in 11th grade. Um, you'll have to do this at the end of the school year too um, for all the colleges that you applied to. And we do not share this information student specific with anyone so it is all data protected and everything so it just helps you keep track of things. Um, the other thing is that for teacher recommendations, you can request teacher recommendations through Naviance. Now, there are two different ways or two different um, things that I want you to know. If you are requesting because you need a counselor recommendation from Mr. Meyer or myself, um, you don't have to talk to us ahead of time. We do those all the time. And so all we need you to do is hit the add request, find us from the drop down menu. So I'm going to find myself and then just put in um, a little note. I need a counselor recommendation for CSB, so the College of St. Ben's, um, and it is due by bleh, whatever date it's due. Um, thanks. If there's any specific information that we need to know, just make sure that you go ahead and enter that information in that little box, and then once you hit update request, then um, it'll show you down here that you've requested from me. It's in progress um, and you can see what you typed to me. What happens then is that goes to my inbox in my email and then I will know that you have requested a re letter of recommendation and what I do then is after I've sent it, I'll mark that it's done so you can come back in here and see the status completed. Um, so then you can know that your application or your recommendation went um, to the school. Now the other thing that I want you to know is for an actual teacher recommendation. Um, you can go ahead and add the requests in here, but all of our staff members have asked that before you enter a request for a teacher in Naviance, that you actually talk to them first. So you could send them a regular email and say, I was wondering if you'd be willing to write me a letter of recommendation. Um, would you like to talk to me about it? Because they might have some specific questions that they want to ask you. Now, once they tell you, yes, I will go ahead and do a recommendation for you, then what I would do is use this 
teacher recommendation request in Naviance to send them a follow-up email, making sure that you thank them for taking time to do that because there are certain teachers who get hit and are writing 90 letters of recommendation. Um, and so just make sure that you thank them. Remind them that they agreed to write a letter of recommendation for you, which schools that you specifically need it for, and then add that request that way as kind of a reminder. And if you have questions again on that, make sure that you come back and let me know. Um, the other thing um, that I want to let you know is that you can also hit, when you're on the Colleges tab, there's another transcript request. And so you can um, view the status of all of your transcript requests. You can request transcripts for college applications. Um, we will eventually put a video together that tells you exactly how to do it for the NCAA. Um, so be watching for that. Um, but if you click on that button, it again is going to allow you to um, just add new applications and all that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, the last thing that I wanted to show you in this video is if you click on the Home tab, um, actually just click on the About Me tab, and we have this Bragg Packet Survey. Any teacher and Mr. Meyer and myself that you ask to write a letter of recommendation is going to ask you if you've done the Bragg Packet Survey. And so that is located in Naviance. What we have found is that students who have completed the Bragg Packet Survey, we have been able to write better letters of recommendation for you. And it just helps us to feel more confident that we're actually speaking to um, you as a person because um, with you know, 250 seniors, we would like to say we know every one of you personally, but unfortunately that doesn't happen. So um, when you click on the Bragg Packet Survey, it's going to ask you for the colleges that you've applied to. It's going to pull in the information that you've already entered into Naviance. Um, and so just so you know, and then it will allow you to enter some other colleges that you've um, maybe applied to that you haven't entered in there. And then we just, we've actually deleted quite a few questions out of here and tried to make it a little bit simpler. Um, we just ask that you answer the questions. Now, do they have to be fully in detail and all that kind of stuff? No. Um, just because the box is that big doesn't mean that you have to enter totally all that information. But just answer the questions to the best of your ability. And then the one thing that I want to point out is that the part that has given teachers and ourselves in the counseling office the best information about you is number 12, where you allow your parents to type in an answer. Um, a lot of times they're going to tell us about things that maybe they know is important for colleges to know that you haven't thought about yet. So it's just really, 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 really important that you, when you're done with this, ask for your parents to fill that out. If you're filling this out and you don't um, have them available, just click the save and return later and then ask your parents very nicely when they would have time to type something in there for us. Once you're done, click the save and I am finished button and then we will be able to access your in information to be able to write you a really, really awesome letter of recommendation. Um, that ends my tutorial at this time. And so if you have any other questions, again, come find Mr. Meyer and us. And here is to an awesome senior year.